Very well, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm back with the episode. If you dig in the new look, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Do you dig the new look? Is the new look fine? Let me know what you guys think about it. Well, it is really, really um, um, hot in Mumbai. But we're going to talk about Dibala. We're going to talk about Lautaro, of course, because reports are really, really killing it. Lautaro did sign a new deal with Inter Milan, but it will not stop Inter Milan from selling him. We have an update about that. And this shock, I'm going to address the Marcus Rashford news is like, what the hell, man? Why is Arsenal even talking about him? Like, why do you want to know? Why, why do you want to know? Uh, like what happens to Rashford man we don't care about Rashford anymore but still we're gonna we're gonna address that because why not since it's been talked about we definitely would want to talk about it as well although we have spoken about it before but still Nacho Monreal opens up about Mesut Ozil being a problem so we're gonna talk about that as well so the first news is of course Nacho Monreal's Ozil admission he says Ozil's problem is that he had problems with everyone. It ended it ended badly with Wenger. He did not play the last few games. Then Emery tried to bring him back and make him our leader. As a person, he was good with everyone, but he also missed a lot of games through injury. To begin with, Emery gave him a lot of confidence and Mesut played a lot. But the coach understood there were other teammates who were in better condition. Ozil was one of the best players in the team, but they saw he wasn't at the level required he spoke to 442 about it so that's that that's the assessment of Nacho Monreal but uh, Twitter Ozil stands will tell you other things moving on Mikel Arteta opened up about he was asked on being the youngest manager in the Premier League he said honestly I don't really think about it because for me age is rel relative when people say someone has a lot of experience what does that mean experience of what kind that's what is more relevant so how much experience do I have? A lot or a little? I don't know because I have been in this league for 20 years. So even though I am Spanish, I have experience of this country. I have lived here. I understand the league, the culture, the players. I just feel lucky to be part of this club, especially at this moment and especially now when I feel there is a real sense of unity and when I see there is an energy, I see we are connected as a club and that empowers me and gives me energy to say we can do this and we believe when i went into management i had a clear vision of what i wanted to accomplish with arsenal i wanted to build a winning team that was also financially sustainable and that could transmit the values identity and passion that the club has had over the years to do that we had to make some important decisions and get the club moving in the right direction first of all all you need to come up with a plan uh you have to have a lot of support from within the club to do it and then the decisions need to be right. Until now, I think one of the biggest successes has been to create as a club a culture an atmosphere where everyone can feel that this is a place where they can fulfill their potential. It is a place where they can grow, participate and everyone can add value to the club. So Mikel Arteta is building something big. I'm pretty much sure a large chunk of Arsenal fans can say it. A small chunk cannot. But it is to witness. Congratulations to Arsenal prospect. Yes, Bradley Ibrahim has signed his first professional contract for the club. Congratulations to him. Uh, yes, for the fantastic years to come. But let's address Paolo Dybala. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about Paolo Dybala. So according to uh, the first source, uh, Giacomo Iacobelis, he says... Uh, the two teams that are interested in signing Paolo Dybala include Inter Milan and Atletico Madrid. Now, you know this whole shuffle is going on, although the players' environment also speaks to Barcelona, Arsenal, Paris Saint-Germain and Tottenham. The player will become a free player in the summer, spending seven years at Juventus. Seven years at Juventus, man. Not easy. Definitely not easy. But Arsenal are preparing their contract extension offer to Buka Saka confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. So let's see, Saka is really happy with Arsenal life. So Liverpool fans need to pipe down as they had to be because, come on man, you just can't expect Saka to leave Arsenal right now. Weird, but they still believe in that. But anyways, anyways, that's because Salah and Liverpool contract deal is not happening. So that maybe that's the reason. But let's talk about CalciumMercato.com coming up with another bomb. They say, Inter Milan does not rule out the departure of Lautaro Martinez this summer if an offer of at least 
seven zero seventy million euros arrives which is roughly at around 58.5 million pounds despite the renewal of his contract last october there's interest from atletico madrid and arsenal who has already spoken with his agent but there is no concrete move yet no concrete move for uh lautaro yet but hey ladies ladies and gentlemen he's available on the market he is wow he signed a new deal and i don't know if, how much truth Calcio Mercato comes up with but not only one I think we have the second uh, article which says this that uh, Lautaro is for sale so we'll see who is the striker that Arsenal are going to target but another let's address another elephant in the room which is yet to be discussed about that according to John Cross from Mirror it is unlikely that Roma will buy Maitland and Niles contract in the summer uh, the player will return to Arsenal and is expected that the club will allow him to leave for an amount close to 10 million pounds 10 million pounds ladies and gentlemen that is the price tag if anyone wants to buy that's the price tag to buy for Ainsley Maitland Niles and apparently Roma will not take that option which is it makes me a little sad why Roma don't want to take that option because we just want to sell him but I can understand why Roma don't want him because of course he's not playing well for them at all at all I think if, if I remember the only manager that worked that he worked well with was on Emery, so let's see if he comes for him moving on let's talk about Roy Keane has uh, spoken about Arsenal target Mar Marcus Rashford but first let's talk about an exclusive information from Mirror Football that Arsenal will try to sign Marcus Rashford in the summer the player is upset with his condition this season with Manchester United and he wants more clarity as to what will happen with his future Arsenal believe they have a chance do you think Marcus Rashford should come to Arsenal my personal suggestion no manchester united hero roy Keane has some advice he says southgate's loyal but he's not stupid he needs these players especially the attacking players to be performing at club level people like rashford who a few months ago you thought he was certain to be in the england squad and now he's probably down the pecking order so a lot will depend on what these lads do at the club level during the next few months i don't know if he's going to get those chances but moving on, uh, let us talk about Gareth Southgate on Benjamin White. This is the heat map of Benjamin White versus Switzerland. So Southgate has defended Ben White's performance. He says, we played out from the back well. Ben White and Mark Gehi were very good. Ben got caught a bit for the goal. But apart from that, to come in at late notice while with John Stones feeling something, he and Mark should be pleased. Another support for Ben White was from Ian Wright. He says that I think being called up as late as he did because of the injury in the warm up, there was a bit of nerves. You could see that, but I thought he did well in the game, to be honest. He did very well. Of course, he did well. But here's one more news that will boil your blood if you're an Arsenal fan that Real Madrid are preparing a 5 0 50 million pound bid for Kirantini, according to Sunday Post. Well, that's really weird because we just signed a new deal and suddenly we, we talk about Tierney leaving for, for to Real Madrid. Although it's a club that really is seeking for fullbacks, but still. Let's talk about the most hilarious news I've ever reported on my channel. I've ever come across while uh, researching for news. Well, according to Praise Sports, Arsenal are interested in signing Manchester United defender Harry Maguire. I don't know what to do with this news. I delivered it because I just wanted to boil your blood as well since my blood is boiling but I really don't know what to, what what do I do with this kind of silly news. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Harry Maguire to Arsenal. But anyways, let's talk about Marco Asensio. Real Madrid have issued an, a contract ultimatum to Arsenal target Marco Asensio. Real Madrid have reportedly spoken to Asensio that if he doesn't put pen to paper on a new contract by June 30th, he will be sold in the summer and that's according to sport uh, the spanish newspaper sport lo blancos has presented a proposal for renewal to the spanish international uh, the terms of renewal reportedly don't meet the economic terms that asensio considers he deserves after six seasons with real madrid so that's that he wants a big financial package as because he took he took a massive wage cut every real madrid player took a massive wage cut to 
you know, uh, combat with the whole uh, pandemic situation. But, you know, Real Madrid are spending on whom they are spending on and what kind of players they are trying to ba- bring in. They could get them, you know, what statement Real Madrid want to, want to make. And Asensio wants to know that easy part of the bigger picture. He just wants to know that. So, let's see. With this, I'd like to end this episode. Let me know what you guys think about Dybala to Arsenal, Lautaro to Arsenal, finally, and Rashford to Arsenal. But more importantly, Harry Maguire to Arsenal. And let me know, does this look look good on me? Let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers.